I joined the Royal Air Force in 1939. I flew and fought in the Battle of Britain, and I left the Air Force in 1960, I think it was, surviving nearly three tours of operations gives me a great value of life. And it's lovely to see chaps I knew in the battle who've also got a great value of life. We don't necessarily want to talk about it, but to just to be together at times, in the pleasure of each other's company, you know, uh, what happened to your hair, old boy, that sort of thing. Today's Battle of Britain Sunday, um, so we have quite a few veterans, family and friends attending a very special lunch in the ballroom and the dining room. Um, we had quite a busy breakfast. Um, afterwards they went to a ceremony at Westminster Abbey and they're back having lunch at the moment, um, enjoying the ambience of the club. It's a chance to get together after many years and we get together and they can relax. You know, on the Friday night, some of them gather and they can have a few beers, some a few too many or something like that. Then they're all together, reliving in a nice sort of way of their comradeship when they were young men. We've got this declining number of 90-year-olds. On our books now, we've got 57, but of which we can count about 14 or 15 are still active. And we've, we've had 14 of there today, so that's quite a good turnout. The Battle of Britain service at Westminster Abbey is very much a homage to the Battle of Britain. Firstly to Dowding, whose ashes are in the Air Force Chapel. Then we have a, a service, and we still, whilst we've got them, is a number of veterans who actually escort the role with serving officers of today. This summer, Britain has showed we had volunteers, we had athletes, it was well organised, and I think, once again, perhaps since the Falklands, we can put our head on it, yet not bad with this this country. And I think the Battle of Britain still shows that, you know, young men were doing the same sort of thing and young people are doing it today. In Afghanistan, my son commanded the first battle group in Helmand. The boys and girls who are doing that now are good and perhaps better from the generation of 1940. The brave boys were the bomber boys. That new memorial out there. They lost more air crew in one night than we did in the whole of the Battle of Britain. And they're the chaps to which I take my hat off to. At least I had a, a small aeroplane. I could chuck it around. It had eight guns. And I could make a nuisance of myself. But not them. Straight and level. On a bombing run through Berlin. Not for me. They're the brave boys. And I, I pay them a very heartfelt tribute.